The Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders came in the last Friday with their backs against the walls. Already with one district loss, they were on the road against eight man's number one team in the Cam Cougars. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. Cam came out strong, striking just a few plays into the game. After Kuhn found nothing on their second drive, Cam struck again. On Kuhn's third drive, they found themselves deep in Cam territory, but a question of fumble call wouldn't go Kuhn's way. The Cougars would run another methodical drive, ending in another six, but on all three cam touchdowns, so they would fail to succeed on the two-point attempt. Down to the number one team in the state, 18 to nothing with their season on the line, the Crusaders began to mount their comeback. Jeffrey Eagle put Kuhn on the board, and the life of the Crusader faithful began to arise. It was on the ensuing kickoff where the uh, toe kicker, uh, Josh Ramirez, would create a turnover whether it was accidental or not. Deep inside their own territory, the man who created the turnover would make yet another insane play, and all of a sudden, Coon Rapids Barrett was within one possession of the lead. On the next drive, Cam would opt to go for a fourth down inside Coon's red zone. The Crusaders had the answer. After being down three possessions in the first quarter, Peyton Clipperton would show the Crusaders what it felt like to be in the lead, scoring with his legs and putting Coon Rapids Beard on top. Coon's momentum wouldn't stop there, and the defense was feeding off the energy. A possession later, the Cam offense would cough it up, and the Crusaders were in the right spot at the right time. A few plays later, it was Jeffrey Eagle finding pay dirt again, putting Coon up 26-18. The number one team in the state wouldn't bow down, and the Cougars would go on a powerful drive, scoring within minutes. Cam would have to go for two, the game on the line. After a demoralizing sequence of events for the Crusaders, sophomore kick returner Gabe Obert would go on to make the play of the game, a play that will go down in Crusader football history. And that was the ball game. Sick in the eight man class, as number seven CRB would take down number one Caminita 32 to 26. Who have been proud of you, like I tell you all the time, all right? I push you to the limit. All you do is just push harder and way to finish that game, all right? Down 18 0, 18 0, all right? Scored a touchdown. Right? Everyone thought we were done. They're like, oh, there's Coon Rapids, like always. Like always, right? Right? Just giving up. Play the battle! Here we go! Yeah. Hey, that's Crusader family staying together right here. Crusader family on three. One, two, three. Stand Stand Thank you for watching this week's Roselle Mutual Game of the Week. Stay tuned after these ads to find out where we will be next week.
Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. Next week, we will be in DCG following the Tigers of Carroll when they clash with the top 10 Mustangs. Both teams come into Friday night undefeated in district play, and both need a win to ensure themselves a spot in the Class 3A playoffs.